These are scary Minecraft seeds you should never try. Starting with giant fossils with the seed fossil 13. I don't know why it's misspelled. Now, the thing about this seed is it's rumored to have these giant bo- Whoa. Whoa. As I was saying it, <laughs> giant sand trap at spawn. It's rumored to have these giant ancient fossils. But where are they? And why are they even here? I'm going back to the surface. Hey, yo. That is so big to be a sand trap to appear out of nowhere. What? <laughs> these are random shadows in the middle of the desert. Are these what? I can't break them. <laughs> Wait, I'm in creative mode and I can't even break these blocks. Why are they casting a shadow? Wait, and did you hear that? Hold on. I'm gonna punch one again. Listen. Alright, is this coincidence or is this sound effect coming from whenever time I punch this block, huh? Everything else in this world's looking pretty normal. Oh wait, hold on, no it's not. Where are the mobs? Hello? Mo oh wait, there they are! Oh, okay, dude, for a second I thought this was, was legitimate. But then they're just standing over here. Why did they just resume walking? I swear they were paused, standing still until I got close. <gasps> and look, it's these freaking blocks again! What are you? Who are you people? I need to know what these blocks are doing, man. Okay, they keep going. Like, look, if we look up, dude, they just keep going. Like, what is this, like eight blocks high? No, it's even higher. Wait, it's, oh, it's really high. What, what is that? Is that a cave? Okay, my ADHD is kicking in. Why are the mobs floating in the sky? Can anybody explain this to me? They're probably standing on the blocks. I freaking knew it. They're like barrier blocks, but stronger because you can't even break them in creative mode. You might not be able to punch them, but can you explode them? Don't take it personal, buddy, but I need to understand these blocks. Please tell me they'll blow up. No, but they'll blow up the sheep? Okay. More TNT. Yeah, you want to see these jitter clicks? You ain't seen nobody jitter click this fast in your entire life, huh? I'm telling you right now, this is gonna blow it up. Like, this is a magnitude of TNT, right? Commence explosion. No. Get rid of these weird blocks for me, TNT. Please, you need to do me this favor. I don't understand. I just don't get it. You're not supposed. Creeper? From where? What? Oh, <gasps> no, wait. Are these invisible blocks bones? But if they were bones, they would break. Water bucket? Tell me this isn't true. No. Oh, this is getting creepy. Remember what this myth was about? Huh? The scary seed? Giant fossils from an ancient civilization? And now I can break them. Once they're revealed, they're breakable. Oh, no. Oh, heck no, dude. I'm going all the way to the top. What about the other statues? Yeah, like these? Oh, ho, ho. but what are we revealing? Is that... Is that a foot? Hey, no way, that's a giant foot! That is indeed a giant foot. What about the other one that we found in the beginning? Is that another foot? Wait, I'm just gonna add weather rain. Oh, I regret doing this so bad. Oh my gosh, looks like giant colossal titans from Attack on Titan. That is terrifying. Who would have thought these guys were here? And what is this one inside? He's like, dude, this is literally from Attack on Titan. He's inside of the cave walls and the cows are just standing on them. And I don't even think they realize they're standing on a dead, giant, dead, giant. Look at this freaking guy. I think it's his head. It's like pointed upwards or something. Oh, there's that sound again. No way. No way did I just get digested by a giant fossil. I'm never gonna live this down. FaZe will never recruit me. Our next seed comes from one of you in the Discord, Rolith, and it's the seed about the blood sword. Gamers logging in. Whoa. What a spawn that was. Hovering above lava in a village? Hey, yo, Rolith, I think you might be onto something here. The thing about the seed is that you're supposed to be able to find the blood sword only inside of chests. So I'm gonna try to loot this village that we just so gracefully spawned by. Yes. Oh. That is, I have never seen that in a villager chest. Let me tell you something. I have seen some weird things in some villagers' houses. Things I can't say, you know, obvious reasons. But that is strange. You know what? I'm gonna have to go inside. Of course they're empty. You know, they're always freaking empty like this, huh? Hey, if you're tired of villages being empty, please like this video. I'm sick and tired of it. That means I gotta go to a mine shaft. Oh, please tell me there's a mine shaft under me. Yes. Okay, mine shaft. Oh, and we got a chest right off the rip, baby. You know what? I'm, oh, I'm feeling some luck here today. All right, I might not be getting lucky just yet, but I'm telling you, the luck is coming my way. Get a gap out of my first chest. We'll take that. Freaking zombie over there. Come on, baby. You know what? Put Diglett on the microphone for good luck. No! Diglett, you're supposed to bring me some good luck here, buddy. I know you're in here, blood sword. I'm getting lost in the sauce, baby. What? Hold up. <laughs> Did you see that? Was that not just read like two seconds ago? Is that a heartbeat? And that's not mine. Look, you know my heart beats for you viewers, but this is something else. Oh, and it stopped. What is this? Is it coming from the emeralds? I don't understand. 
Oh, now I'm feeling the, I got the, like, the tingles all over my body. But they just break into regular emeralds. But I swear they were red for a second. Was it from the emeralds? Emeralds? Oh, dude. Something is going on. Where's that heartbeat coming from? No blood sword? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. If we don't hear the heartbeat, let's drop them. Are we closer or further away? Dude, we sound so close. Oh, dude, I feel like I'm playing Five Nights at Freddy's now. Now I'm taking my time turning these corners. <gasps> Yo, I know for a fact that that was red and now it turned into emeralds. Was that some kind of like blood ore? It looked kind of like redstone, but it had a slightly different texture. I'm telling you, I'm not going crazy, okay? See, like that is redstone. And those blocks did not look like this. They look totally different. I'm gonna try to craft the emeralds into a sword. No idea if this is going to work, but we gotta try something. I wanna know how you guys are finding this, by the way. Like the people in the Fire Nation Discord are sending in some banger seeds for us to investigate. Y'all gotta keep sending these because I'm getting creeped out. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I know in mods, you can make emerald swords. And this seed is not like the others. So I'm telling you, on the count of three, this is going to work. One, two, three. No, dude, come on. Just work for me for once. Dude, I don't get it, man. I give so much to Minecraft and so... My emeralds have now been swapped to blood gems. I knew it. I knew these were like fake emeralds, femeralds, if you will. You dirty fake emeralds? This whole time? Look at it. It's a freaking blood sword. And they said the whole time you had to find it in the chest, which couldn't even be further from the truth. Look at it. It's like ruby red. It's gorgeous. It's got 12 attack damage too, which is way higher than a diamond and even a netherite sword. And it also, does it mean, it look kind of funny when I'm holding it in my hand. Like it looks like it's pointed at like a different direction. All right, check this out. Look, so if you make a wooden sword, put this in, hold it in our hand. See, look, the wooden sword is tilted backwards, but the blood sword is tilted forwards. It's like... Literally hungry for blood. Oh yeah, and the attack damage, by the way, triple that. It kind of looks like a dagger. Like if I hold both of my hand, oh, that looks sick. I wish it did that in my main hand and not my off hand. Oh yeah, dude. Okay, I gotta try this out in some more mobs. <laughs> Zombies. Okay, we can't one hit them when we crit them, but it's still the serious damage. And this seed is confirmed. Rolf, you are the goat for sending this into the Discord. The link's in the description if you guys want to, but we gotta go on to our next scary seed. Hey, yo, what the frick? The living mansion seed. This comes from Ryan822 on Reddit. All this person said, all Ryan said was, what I thought was a normal Minecraft seed, turning into something horrifying. Do not go to the mansion. Something is wrong here. But then, gives us the seed and gives us the footage. Ryan, you are sending me some mixed signals here, buddy. Okay, Ryan, where are you going? All right, Ryan takes a step to the left. Goes in, grabbing a flint and steel. Can't really type well. <clears throat> Ryan is just, okay, no, it's not F colon, it's FL. There we go. Who grabs the flint and steel, sets only fire to the eye. What's that supposed to do? Wait, it moves the statue of the pillager? No. Is this legit? I, I, I gotta try this now. Ryan goes here to the left, grabs the flint and steel. I'm gonna type in colon just for fun. Sets fire directly to the eyes. Then as soon as he goes around the corner into this room, the statue's supposed to appear. Nope. I, I knew it, dude. Come on, Ryan. You trying to fake me out right here or what, buddy? Oh, or wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Let me pull the video up again. I missed something at the beginning. Okay, loads in. Sets the render distance to two chunks. Is that really going to make the difference here? All right, Ryan. For you, I will set the render distance to two. Now I will go back and set the eyes on fire. Weren't there pillagers here? There, wait, whoa, there were definitely pillagers. And now there are no pillagers. <laughs> All right, a little creepy, Ryan. Yeah, you're, okay, now, now maybe I'm starting to believe you a little bit. I'm gonna set the fires to the eyes. Eyes are on fire. Now we go back to the other room. But nothing changed. Am I doing something wrong? I did everything that he did. Okay, joins the world. Oh, he's in, he, he is in survival mode. That's the only difference I see. Starts in survival, then goes to creative, gets the flint and steel. Okay, I'm just gonna follow that to a T and tab him back in. Okay, then what he does is he goes back. Okay, we're gonna go back to survival. He had full food, heal, no flint and steel. And then instead of doing the, the command, he does, what is it, F3? How do you do that again? Oh, okay, so he sets himself to creative like this. I've never set myself in creative doing this. Okay, but goes to the creative like that, then grabs the flint and steel, then sets the fire to the eyes. I don't know why I can't say setting the eyes on fire. I can't say that word. Then goes in here, and it worked! Was it really the combination of going into creative and survival mode? Then he goes back in here, and the eyes are no longer on fire. But then this room is supposed to be normal again, and it is. It's got just the regular wool blocks inside of it. No statue. Come on, dude. Wait, this is crazy. All right, should I go back to the beginning of the mansion? That was 
Wait, it was definitely this way, right? Yeah, because I remember the, the pumpkin. My entrance has been sealed. Is this coincidence? Am I just an idiot? I mean, don't answer that honestly in the comments. No, okay, dude. I think the entrances are being sealed. Okay, fine. I'll just dig down. I will just dig straight down. No big deal to another mansion. Was I not on the first floor? Yeah, I was. I definitely came in on the first floor, but now it looks like we're on like the second floor. Are we going backwards? Where is the exit? <laughs> but I just keep getting, I'm, I'm going to more and more mansion. <laughs> it's another mansion, dude. <laughs> Why? You know what? That's fine. We can always just disconnect. You know, something about that mansion. I don't think Ryan's crazy. Ryan, you are onto something. I'm gonna be looking forward to his future Reddit posts. Many cursed dimensions have been discovered in Minecraft, but none are as terrifying as the soul dimension. Well, it's only been rumored, but I'm gonna see if we can find it. I'm on the correct seed, and we have to start by building a nether portal with a very specific ritual. And when I mean specific, I mean I don't know what I'm doing, but I will figure this out. Now we're cooking, baby. This is looking beautiful. All right, this is only experiment number one. Now, before we ignite this, we need to make sure that we have the ritual fully set up, okay? So here's what I'm thinking. I'm telling you, this is gonna bring us to the soul dimension. I have never been so confident in my life. Sheep, don't make me turn you into a soul sacrifice. Every time I film one of these videos, there's always like this random sheep that appears behind me. I'm about to start making you a reoccurring character, buddy. How'd you feel about that? Same. Now, we're gonna connect the redstones together. Come on, soul dimension. Sheep, get out of my way. You gotta stop. Okay, everything's connected. Redstone torches on the tips. And Sheboygan! The portal seems normal. So either we're going to go to the nether or we're going to go to the soul dimension here. Come on, soul dimension. Ah, dude, it's just the freaking, it's just the regular nether. Really? That didn't work? That's crazy. I thought for sure that was good. Okay. You have either been a very naughty sheep or we're onto something here. Because these flames were not here earlier. Oh, wait a second. Oh, dude, I'm an idiot. Soul Dimension? What else starts with soul in Minecraft? Yeah, soul sand? And we even have soul lanterns, soul campfires. Oh, I was doing this all wrong, dude. Hold on, I'm removing this redstone. I'm gonna outline this bad boy in so much soul sand. Replace these with soul lanterns. Yeah. Does this look more spooky now? Oh, way more spooky. Way more spooky. I I'm either about to be an idiot or I'm about to be a genius. Three, two, one. Soul dimension, please. I just nether again. But we know we're onto something with those flames that randomly appeared because they're still here. We need more. I need to test more portals. Do you guys see what's behind me? I've tried every single one of these portals and nothing seems to work. Like, like even this one. Come watch. Take me to the same spot. Time and time again, I, I get taken to the same exact spot in the nether, but not the soul dimension. Bro, I mean, I even, I even tried the aether portal and that's how you know I'm desperate to get to the soul dimension. Okay. Wait, I have realized yet again, I am an idiot. We didn't try the in portal. Oh yeah, okay. This is this, yeah. You know what I'm thinking, Mr. Piggy? Piggy, why am I an idiot? You literally forgot to check the end portal. That's right, Piggy, because I didn't try an in portal. I only tried regular nether portals. You are such a great pig. There we go, baby. Now, oh, now we're all good. You see this right here? Soulify this bad boy. You know, it's tough because like my sister's got red hair, so she doesn't have a soul, so she could never get in the soul dimension. Okay, I'm, I'm about to activate this bad boy. Yeah. Oh. Oh, did you hear that? The silverfish just randomly died? Oh, uh, was that the effects of my soul portal? And that block just broke. And you already know how we gotta do this. Come on, we gotta do a little three, a little two, a little one. Am I going crazy again? I, okay, dude. Now this either means we're onto something really good or we're onto something really bad, considering the blocks in the end, or what is this called? The, the, the uh, blocks and the stronghold randomly turned red. I'm not waiting, I'm going in, I'm going in. Nothing can keep me away from this demit. It's the end. I mean, I don't know why I expected different results considering we've, oh. Oh. <gasps> Soul sand. Soul dimension? Tell me this is it! I have never seen this before in Minecraft! But there's no dragon. And the entire thing is made out of soul sand. Is this it? The soul dimension I've been hunting for this entire video? And this is what I get? A piece of bedrock? That soul dimension is real. Except for the fact that it's trash! This is why you need to hold on to your soul. Because otherwise, you become this. A desolate wasteland with nothing to do. And no joy, no hope. The seed is real, but it's trash. The Hungry Alex Seed, which was posted by another one of our Fire Nation Discord members. All they said is seed 98 Zella, she's hungry. All right. And we all know Alex. She doesn't look like she got a big appetite if you're asking me, but I need to go investigating the cave. Whoa. 
the caves full of mobs, which is a funny coincidence considering Hungry Alex is known to literally devour everything inside, including mobs, but not just limited to mobs, even other things. And I know what you're thinking, isn't this some kind of dumb ripoff of like, you know, Giant Alex? Hungry Alex, very different than Giant Alex. Hungry Alex is regular sized and just literally devours everything in sight. Basically, she will eat, it's not even limited just to the cows, she'll eat zombies, even villagers, like you name it. She'll eat anything. It's a freaking huge cat. What? Are these stairs? Or are they pieces of stone? But they look like somebody munched the stone out of them. Do you know how big your mouth would have to be to take a bite of this? Like, think about this. Look at my mouth, okay? Look at that. Does my mouth look that big? Yes. Yes, it does. Dude, this person's diet gets some fiber. Can you imagine what the restroom looks like for this person? That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna leave it at that, okay? I just don't, I don't even wanna go into depth of that anymore. Okay, I'm going back to the surface. I'm resurfacing, baby. No way the mobs are gone. No way. Don't do this to me. Every time. I just like, I never expect the things to happen in these seeds. And then they happen. And then I get the tingles. And I'm tired of getting the tingles. I don't see anything that could have caused this to happen. Dude, I don't understand. I don't understand. And I need to understand. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going back up. I'm going way the heck back up. I don't want to be down here anymore. <gasps> There's a chicken dying on the surface. Now, this could mean two things. Is this hungry Alex or could it just be a wolf? No freaking way, there's raw chicken? I know something freaking is up, huh? Where is this even leading us to? I, at first, I thought it was gonna be a wolf, but now, I, dude, like, wolves and foxes don't eat this much chicken. They don't got an appetite that big, you know what I'm saying? But we know something that does, Hungry Alex. Have you ever been near a woman who is just hangry, all right? I know, I'm married to one. And when they are hungry, they are totally different people. Like, I mean, not even the same species. It, it's it's insane. Also, where's the villagers? There's no villagers in this village. There's no way Hungry Alex could eat an entire village. I know she's hungry, but is she that hungry? Oh, there you guys are, huh? Now, why are you guys all congregated looking inside the window like this? <laughs> hey. Oh, they're looking at somebody. Oh, it's a villager in the house. Okay, what are they looking at? I gotta know now. Yeah, okay, you guys are just looking at this. There is nothing wrong with this villager? Is that a bone? He's missing his bottom half! <laughs> oh, wait, maybe he's not missing it. He lost it. You look like, oh no, you look like an Among Us character. Dude, and you guys are just standing out here? You don't even- I'm sick of this! I'm sick of the disappearing act. First it was the mobs, then it was the villagers. Don't tell me the villager and- Okay, at least he's still there. <laughs> Hungry Alex, if this is you, I promise I don't taste good. I'm literally made of lava. I might actually burn you, or I might- I'm either gonna burn your mouth, or I'm too spicy for you to handle. That's what my wife says. She doesn't say that. It would be nice if she did, though. But ladies and gentlemen, we have yet to see Hungry Alex once in this seed. So, yes, things are weird, but we haven't even seen Hungry Alex once. I'm saying this one is a bust arena. We're busted. That was creepy. And it's even creepier that we perfectly get the outro message, I'm watching you.